Today, I am going to introduce you to XLOOKUP function in Excel, which in my opinion is the absolute death of the age-old VLOOKUP function. We will be learning three things today. Firstly, how to use XLOOKUP directly to seek values, retrieving table reference values, and seeking values with an approximate match. Let's begin. In this table, we have three empty cells, which are designation, long-term achievement award, and address. So let's pull out designation from our reference sheet. The formula would be is equal to xlookup, press tab, lookup value. So over here, we'll use the employee code as the lookup value, comma, lookup array. We'll go to the reference sheet and select the entire section of employee codes, comma, return array. What do we want to return? So here we want to return the designation. So we'll return, we'll select rather the entire designation array. And then we have multiple other options, which we'll talk about later on. Close the bracket and enter. So here with reference to employee code, designation has come as a counter. Now, to populate the entire list with the designations, all we do is select and drag. So, we have the designations, the corresponding designations for each name. Okay. Now, when we want to retrieve table reference values, over here, what it says, go to the reference sheet, long-term achievement award. So, anybody who has service years, which is five or less, gets an appreciation letter. Up to 10 years gets a bronze medal, up to 15 years silver, and up to 25 years gold. So let's see how to use which person gets what in terms of long-term achievement award. Okay, so this is a slightly tricky one, but very useful in XLOOKUP. Is equal to XLOOKUP, press tab, lookup value. So here we will not reference it with employee code. We will reference to service in years because this has a reference to a range of years. So we'll select the service in years, comma, go to the reference sheet, select the lookup array, which is 5, 10, 15, and 20, and we'll fix this so that the selection does not go beyond this range. So we'll press F4, comma, we'll select the return value. Again, we'll select this and press F4, so by this, using F4, we are fixing the range to look up from. Okay, then comma. It says, if not found, we'll skip this part. So we'll add another comma and then match mode. In match mode, we'll select exact match or next smaller item. Why? Because if it crosses 5, it goes to bronze medal. If it crosses 10, it goes to silver medal. So hence, any year which is mentioned as service years or lesser. So we'll select exact match or next smaller item, close the bracket, press enter. Now, similarly, populating it. Depending upon the years of service, now we know that employee, what will that person get as a long-term achievement award. Now, seeking values with approximate match. Over here, if you see, we have the first names, but in the reference sheet, we have full names. So if you try to look up from the first name and the reference sheet having the full name using VLOOKUP, this will not work because these are two non-identical values. However, in VLOOKUP, in XLOOKUP rather, we can use this in the particular format is equal to XLOOKUP, select the lookup value, comma, Select the lookup array, comma, select the return array, comma, if not found, we'll skip this part, comma, match mode, we'll select as exact match or next larger item. Why? Because initially we had only the first name, but in the reference value, it has the first name as well as the last name. So exact match or the next larger item. Select close, press enter. Now you see, irrespective of the fact that we were only searching by the first name, we were able to populate the value 
as per the email ID and the full name. So this is how you use XLOOKUP in Excel. There are multiple ways you can play around it. it. Comes with practice. I would highly recommend that you learn this, you practice this and forget about VLOOKUP. This will do wonders for you. If you like the video, feel free to share, like and subscribe. Thank you.